हेलो एवरी वन कंटिन्यूंग विद अवर लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन कंप्यूटर एडेड प्रोसेस प्लानिंग दैट इज अवर यूनिट थ्री पार्ट टू टूडे इन दिस पर्टिकुलर लेक्चर वी विल बी फोकसिंग ऑन ले आउट ऑफ फ्लेक्सिबल मैनुफैक्चरिंग सिस्टम सो लेट स्टार्ट टिल नाउ इन कंप्यूटर एडेड प्रोसेस प्लानिंग वी हैव कवर्ड वेरियस टॉपिक्स सच एज इंट्रोडक्शन टू कंप्यूटर एडेड प्रोसेस प्लानिंग बेनिफिट्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर एडेड प्रोसेस प्लानिंग टाइप्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर एडेड प्रोसेस प्लानिंग सिस्टम एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ कंप्यूटर एडेड प्रोसेस प्लानिंग फ्लेक्सिबल मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सिस्टम कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ फ्लेक्सिबल मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सिस्टम एंड टुडे वी विल बी स्टडिंग लेआउट्स ऑफ फ्लेक्सिबल मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सिस्टम अलोंग विद एप्लीकेशंस एंड प्रॉब्लम्स इन इंप्लीमेंटिंग फ्लेक्सिबल मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सिस्टम सो टुडे इन दिस पर्टिकुलर लेक्चर वी विल बी स्टडिंग लेआउट्स ऑफ फ्लेक्सिबल मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सिस्टम applications of flexible manufacturing system and problems in implementing flexible manufacturing system in this particular unit that is our computer aided process planning we have covered these particular lectures uh, in the previous uh, sessions so if you have any kind of problem in the introduction to computer aided process planning benefits types advantages disadvantages fms components of fms so you can first revise those particular topics so we will be directly starting with layouts of flexible manufacturing system what i have done is uh, in this particular lecture i have covered the different types of uh, layouts of flexible manufacturing system along with their figures and a bit explanation so let's start layouts of a flexible manufacturing system layouts of flexible manufacturing system includes it is of five types first is progressive or line type second loop type third ladder type open field type and last is robot centered type so layouts of flexible manufacturing system in broad have five different ways of layout so we will be covering all these types like progressive or line type then loop type then ladder type open field type and robot center type one by one so let's begin first progre progressive or line type progressive or line type can be a single line or it can be a double line very important so figure says uh, you can see this figure where we have a starting work piece point and we have a completed part point and in between we have a manual loading stations and unloading stations and from starting work parts to the completed part it passes through several stations which are the mechanical or automated stations as you can see in this particular figure figure workflow is shown and part transport system is shown also partially completed work parts are shown with the help of red circles and final part is shown with this green circle so from here to here it is known as progressive or line type of layout for flexible manufacturing system let's see single line type are the simplest layout used in flexible manufacturing system in this type of layout material handling equipment moves in straight line as the name suggests it is a line type so here the entire process from the starting of the work part to the completed part is in a straight line automatic guided vehicles that is agvs are the most used in such type of layout because for flexible manufacturing system and automation agvs riding on a straight path becomes very easy so in this particular type of layout it can be highly automated and in double line layout the machines are arranged on both sides of the guide paths here outflow is in one direction only as you can see that it is in unidirectional that is from say left to right clear and in double line layout utilization of material handling equipment is more this is the difference between the single line and the double line then in case of double line layout utilization of material handling equipment is more next is 
loop type layout so the second type of flexible manufacturing system layout is the loop type layout in loop type layout the difference from the progressive type is that here the completed part and the starting workplace are on the same side as you can see in this particular figure yes starting workplace that is the starting point of the work part and the completed part both have the same side so loading and unloading whether it is manual or automated are on the same side whereas as the name suggests it is loop type layout it passes through several intermittent stations as you can see in this particular figure we have mechanical or automated part input output here we have seen the direction of workflow also it is in the clockwise direction and this is the part transport loop so what is loop type layout in loop type layout it allows only a unidirectional flow around the loop it doesn't mean that uh, sometimes it is going from left to right or clockwise and sometimes it is going from anti clockwise it is always that in loop type layout it follows a unidirectional flow where the part is complete part is manufactured by passing through different stations step by step so in loop type layout it allows only unidirectional flow around the loop you need to understand also it, it is not like uh, just cramming or uh, just narrating the particular topics it is like you need to make the concepts and try to imagine what exactly are different types of uh, layouts so you will easily understand when you will see all these things in industry parts flowing in the flow can be stopped at any workstation for the smooth flow of parts as the machine handling or the material handling or the part uh, manufacturing or processing stations are manual as well as automated so part flowing in the flow can be stopped at any workstation for the smooth flow of parts loading and unloading stations are provided at one end of the loop layout as you can see here loading and unloading are on the one end of the loop layout next is ladder type layout it is also very important type of uh, layout also known as uh, vertical manufacturing flexible manufacturing system ladder type layout as you can see in this particular figure here also loading and un unloading is on the same side that is at the one end here starting work part is entering after passing through different machines it is coming back to the unloading station that is we are getting the completed part so direction of flow is shown so what is ladder type layout it contains the rings upon which work stations are located second these are provided for smooth flow of material and low traffic junctions ladder type layouts are provided for smooth flow of materials and low traffic junctions as in case of uh, overflow of or we can say the over processing of the work part it works on the ring type of manufacturing where the station at which the uh, queuing is least it follows that particular path but ultimately the final completed part is obtained on the unloading station it has very vast application ladder type layout has very effective applications main advantage of this type of layout is that it has less travel distance and transfer time between work station this is one of the major advantage of ladder type layout hope it is clear next is open field layout this is the fourth type of layout for flexible manufacturing system here also you can see this is a um, schematic diagram for the open field type of layout where agvs are also used that is automatic guided vehicles are used between different stations we have recharge stations also we have loading and unloading stations on the same end the red color sh shows the starting work part whereas the completed part is shown with the help of green small circles 
so what open field type says is it is also an adequate adaptation of a loop type of layout it is very similar to loop type of layout so what is the difference is it consists of loops also ladder type layout also and sliding organized to achieve desired processing requirements actually the open field type of layout is the customized form of layout as per the specification and requirement of our products and it is the, the uh, it is the layout which shows the maximum uh, flexible manufacturing system in terms of uh, final product output so it consists of loops ladders and sliding organized to achieve desired processing requirements this type of systems are is more suitable for large group of parts to be manufactured so for mass production this type of system is more suitable where the large group of parts are to be manufactured finally the robot centered type of flexible manufacturing system it is uh, one of the very effective and the advanced form of layouts which has been used by very few industries but is highly automated and follows uh, maximum rules and uh, systems according to the industry 4.0 regulations so what is robot center type also known as circular machine layout in this machines are arranged in a circle as you can see here machine work table this is a robot this is the machine tool and we have part carousel where the different parts are been moving with the certain velocity say v and they are all passing through the robots industrial robot is used for material handling purposes robots are located at approximately centers of the work cell and other pieces are arranged around it why i have uh, shown you the figure along with the, the explanation is the major concern for uh, writing all these things i could have explained directly without showing you this particular text the major concern is to have the effective notes also related to all the topics being taught in computer aided designing and manufacturing actually these are some of the very important topics also and these topics will help you in all the interviews in all the uh, different uh, positions so knowing these things and knowing these things with the proper definitions are very important so five types of layouts we have studied so fifth one is our robot centered layout and it is also known as circular machine layout in this machines are arranged in circles industrial robot is used for material handling purposes it is the highly automated form of flexible manufacturing system layout here robots are located at the approximate centers of the work cell and other pieces are arranged around it hope it is clear so we are clear with different types of layouts of flexible manufacturing system now let's see applications of flexible manufacturing system very fast it can be used for machining the parts number 1 it is used in semiconductor component manufacturing this is being specified as Uh, one of the applications of flexible manufacturing system but it can be used in all kinds of uh, components manufacturing third is it is used in sheet metal fabrication it is used in assembly of different components that means application of fms is in all kinds of uh, manufacturing industries it is also used in textile machine manufacturing so applications of fms are in machine machining of parts semiconductors manufacturing sheet metal fabrication different component assembly textile machine manufacturing and so on and last there are certain problems that are uh, associated with the implementation of flexible manufacturing system so problems in implementing flexible manufacturing system are lack of efficient measuring system you can note down all these points these are very very important and this will be the last topic for flexible manufacturing system though we have a uh, n number of different uh, topics which are the sub topics of flexible manufacturing system but in our syllabus we will be restricting ourselves to 
the problems in implementing flexible manufacturing system so first is lack of efficient measuring system second this is an there is an incapable compatible sorry there is an incompatibility between different systems in the industry lack of education in both management and technical staff as it is the most upgraded form of uh, the industrial automation so there is a lack of education to both management as well as the technical staff outdated organizations and partially obsolete facilities lack of long term and committed relationships with the vendors of both raw material and fms equipments these are the uh, problems that are associated with the implementation of fms lack of total commitment to the installation and implementation of fms shortage of technical skills lack of comprehensive understanding and comp understanding of complex tools management so these are some of the uh, problems associated with implementing fms there can be many more such as uh, difficulties in designing and control of automatic guided vehicles so hope you are clear with uh, the layouts of flexible manufacturing system the applications of flexible manufacturing system and the problems associated with flexible manufacturing system so thank you thank you so much uh, we will be covering uh, many other topics uh, in our next lecture thank you so much.